Good morning, everyone. How are you? Today, we have to complete our lesson, which is about operations of fractions, and we have to solve together page 9 in the booklet. Okay? Let's start with the first one. The question is, perform and simplify whenever possible. We can simplify, then multiply, or multiply, then simplify. Okay? Let's start. 3 over 9 times 8 over 7. Can I simplify like this? We have a common divisor between a 3 and 9. Yes, which is the 3. Then let's simplify by 3. 3 divided by 3 equals 1. 9 divided by 3 equals 3. We have a common divisor between 8 and 7. No, between 1 and 7. No, between 8 and 3. Only the 1, then no. Then let's multiply right now. 1 times 8 is equal to 8 over 3 times 7, 21. Excellent, that's it. The second one, 8 over 5 times 25 over 6. We have a common divisor between 8 and 5. No, 25 and 6, also not. 8 and 6, yes, we have to divide them by 2. 8 divided by 2, 4. 6 divided by 2, 3. 5 and 25, yes, we can divide them by 5. 5 divided by 5, 1. 25 divided by 5, 5. And then, now we have to multiply. 4 times 5, 20 over. 1 times 3, 3. That's it. Let's continue. 6 over 9 divided by 7 over 9. How can we divide two fractions? First, we have to write the first fraction as it is. Then the divide, I will change it two times and I will inverse the next fraction, which is 7 over 9. I will write it 9 over 7. When we have times, we can simplify. Let's simplify right now. 6 over 9 times 9 over 7. We have a common divisor between 6 and 9. Yes, they are divisible by 3. Let's divide by 3. 6 divided by 3, 2. And 9 divided by 3, 3. We have a common divisor between 9 and 7. No, between 2 and 7. No, between 3 and 9. Yes, we can divide them by 3. 3 divided by 3, 1. 9 divided by 3, 3. Now we have to multiply the numbers. 2 times 3 equals 6. 1 times 7, it is 7. Let's continue. The, the next one, it's the same. 3 over 9 as it is times 6 over 8. We can simplify like this. Yes, we have to divide by 3. 3 divided by 3, 1. 9 divided by 3, 3. 6 and 8. 6 divided by 2 equal 3. 8 divided by 2 equal 4. We simplify like this by 2 and like this by 3. Now let's see these numbers. 1 and 4. No. 3 and 3, we can simplify them by 3. 3 divided by 3, 1. 3 divided by 3, 1. I get 1 times 1, it's 1 over 1 times 4, it's 4. That's it. Okay? Let's continue the next one. Here we have addition. Pay attention. How can we add two, two fractions? We have to reduce to the same denominator. Then we have to add them. Okay? 3 over 12 plus 6 over 4. We can simplify 12 to get 4. Yes, we have to divide it by how many? By 3. Then let's see the numerator. Can I divide 3 by 3? Yes. Then let's simplify this fraction by 3. 3 divided by 3, 1. 12 divided by 3, 4. Then I get 1 over 4 plus 6 over 4. Can I add right now? Yes. 4 we have the same denominator, we keep the denominator as it is, and we add the numerators. 1 plus 6, 7, that's it. Here, pay attention, we can multiply 4 to get to 12. Yes, we can multiply it by 3. We multiply here by 3 and here by 3, and we get the same denominator. Then the answer, we can simplify it at the end, okay? Not a problem, it is the same. Here. We have addition, then we have to reduce to the same denominator to add the fractions. Let's see, 7 over 8 plus 3 over 5. We have 
Can I uh, divide 8 to get 5 or multiply 5 to get 8? No, because 8 is not a multiple of 5. Then let's switch the numbers. Let's multiply 8 by 5. If I multiply down by 5, also we have to multiply up by 5. Then I will multiply here by 8 by 8. We get 7 times 5, 35 over 8 times 5, 40 plus 3 times 8. 24 over 40 equals. Now we have to add the numerators and we keep the denominator as it is 40. 35 plus 24. 9 in the ones digit. 3 plus 2 equal 5. 59 over 40. Can I simplify this fraction? Let's see. Can I divide by 2? No. By 3? No. By 4? No, 59 is not a multiple of 4. By 5, no. By 6, also not. Then, these two numbers, we don't have a common divisor between them. Let's complete the next one. Here we have 6 over 2 minus 12 over 16. Can I simplify 16 to get 4? Let's try. We have to divide it by 4, right? If I can, I can divide by 4 up. Yes, of course. Let's simplify by 4. 12 divided by 4 equals 3. And 16 divided by 4 equals 4. I get 6 over 4 minus 3 over 4. 6 minus 3, 3 over 4. The same denominator. It's clear? Let's con continue. 18 over 5 minus 4 over 6. We have to multiply 5 by 6 and 6 by 5 to get the same denominator and don't forget if we multiply down by 6 also we have to multiply up by 6 here by 5 and here by 5 let's see we have 18 18 times 6 6 times 8 48 6 times 1 6 plus 4 10 then we get 108 over 30 minus 20 over 30 now we have to calculate 108 minus 20 8 minus 0 8 here we have to borrow 1 10 minus 2 is equal to 8 then i get 88 over 30 can I simplify 88 over 30? Yes, we can simplify it by 2. Excellent. Divide by 2, divide by 2. Or you can cross it directly and put the answer. 88 divided by 2, 44. And 30 divided by 2, 15. You can, mess, you can simplify here. Then reduce to the same denominator. Then subtract. Not a problem. Uh, but you have to get at the end 44 over 15 okay let's continue the next one here we have addition and multiplication first we have to calculate inside the parentheses then i will multiply let's see here we have the same denominator no then we have to reduce them to the same denominator times four times four times six times six i get seven times four 28 over 24 then we have plus 2 over 4 times 6 times 6 plus 12 over 4 times 6 24 times 5 over 6 equals 28 plus 24 20 uh, 12 sorry 28 plus 12, 28 plus 12, 10, 40, 40 over 24 times 5 over 6. We can make it by, uh, by using another way. Yes, of course, miss. We can simplify 2 over 4 first to get 1 over 2. Then I multiply 2 by 3 to get 6. Of course, 1 by uh, 3 also. Okay, but um, this is the easy way then now we can simplify we have times here right 
let's simplify 40 and 24 we can simplify them yes by 2 or by 4 directly yes 40 divided by 4 10 and 24 divided by 4 6 let's continue can i simplify one more time yes the 10 i will write it here 10 over 6 because we don't have a space here okay over 6 let's simplify one more time 10 by 2 it's 5 and 6 by 2 it's 3 now we have to multiply 5 times 5 25 over 3 times 6 it's 18 that's it okay you can use any way but at the end you have to get a 25 over 18 let's continue the next one here we have a mixed number times and we have another operation which is the subtraction 2 and 7 over 8 how can we calculate it 2 times 8 16 plus 7 16 plus 7 13 23 23 over the same denominator which is 8 times we have to calculate inside the parentheses here we have to multiply by 4 by 4 and here by 7 by 7 we have 8 times 4 32 over don't forget to put the parentheses uh, 7 times 4 28 minus 2 times 7 14 over 28 we get the same denominator let's subtract the numerators 32 minus 14 2 minus 4 we have to borrow 1 12 8 2 minus 1 it's 1 18 don't forget to put first 23 over 8 times 18 over 28 then let's see can i simplify like this 18 over 28 uh, yes of course by 2 i get 9 28 divided by 2 14 right Two, I still have a 23 times. I don't have a common divisor between 23 and 8. Um, also, we don't have a common divisor between 9 and 14. Between 23 and 14, also not. And 9 and 8, also not. Let's multiply right now. 23 times 9, 27, 18, 19, 20, 207 over 8 times 14 let's multiply them 8 times 4 32 8 times 1 8 plus 3 11 112 then we get 207 over 112 that's it let's complete the next one 5 over 9 plus 2 over 3 we have first to calculate between inside the parentheses 9 and the 3 we have to reduce them to the same denominator don't forget yms بس يكون عندي plus or minus we can't we cannot uh, add or subtract if we don't have the same denominator okay let's reduce them to the same denominator 9 and 3 let's multiply 3 by 3 to get 9 okay if I multiply down by 3 I will multiply up also by 3 to get equal fractions let's continue 5 over 9 plus I will copy them as they are they are plus 6 over 9 times 4 over 7 equals let's add these 11 over 9 times 4 over 7 i get one operation which is times sorry let's continue 11 times 4 it's 44 9 times 7 63 can i simplify no because if i can simplify here we have to simplify here but we don't have a common divisor between 4 and 7 11 and 9 11 and 7 and 4 and 9 we don't have common divisor between them okay let's complete the next one 6 over 7 minus 7 over 14 let's reduce them to the same denominator then we have to subtract 7 i will multiply it by how many to get 14 by 2 or we can simplify here by 2 but if i divide here by 2 can i divide 7 by 2 no then i can't simplify 14 we have to multiply 4 by 2 to get 14 okay 6 times 2 12 over 
14 minus 7 over 14 divided by 9 over 8. We have to complete it as it is. Equals 12 minus 7, 5 over 14 divided by 9 over 8. Now we have 2. Change the divide to times. 5 over 14 times 8 over 9. Now let's see if we can simplify. Can I simplify like this? No. Like this? No. Like this? Yes, we have to simplify by 2. 8 divided by 2 equal 4. And 14 divided by 2 equal 7. Now let's multiply. 5 times 4, 20. And 7 times 9, 63. That's it. We get 20 over 63. Let's complete the next one. Here we have 9 over 6 plus 6 over 5. We have to multiply 6 by 5 and also the 9 by 5. 5 by 6 by 6 to get the same denominator. 9 times 5, 45 over 30. Don't forget to put the parentheses plus. I copy the answers as they are. 6 times 6, 36 over 30, I will close the parentheses divided by. Let's change the mixed number into fraction. 2 times 7, 14. Plus 2, 16 over 7 equals. We have to add them because I get the same denominator. I can add them. 45 plus 36. Let's add them here. 45 plus 36. 11, 8, 81 over the same denominator which is 30 divided by 16 over 7 now let's change the divide uh, into times 81 over 30 times 7 over 16 don't forget to invert the next fraction because we change the divide to times okay equals can i simplify like this we have a common divisor between 81 and 30 think Yes, we can divide by 3. 81 divided by 3. 8 divided by 3. We don't have 8. We have 6. 2. 2 times 3 equals 6. Drop down the next digit. 21 divided by 3. 21 subtract 0, 0. The answer is 27. Then 27 over 30 divided by 3. 10. Then now we have can i simplify like this no like this no and like this no let's multiply 27 times 7 here we have 27 times 7 7 times 7 49 7 times 2 14 plus 18 189 over 10 times 16 160 that's it okay Let's continue before the last one. We have 7 over 13 times. We have the same denominator. Then I, I can add them directly. Excellent. 12 plus 14, 26 over 35. Let's see. We have times. Then we can simplify directly here. 13 and 26. We have a common divisor between them. Yes, 13. We can divide them by 13. 13 divided by 13, 1. 26 divided by 13, 2. 7 and 35, we can divide them by 7, bravo. 7 divided by 7, 1. 35 divided by 7, 5. Then now let's multiply. 1 times 2, 2. 1 times 5, 5. That's it. Okay? Let's continue the last one. We have a mixed number. Let's change it to fraction. 7 times 11. 77 plus 2, 79 over 11, the same denominator, divided by. Can I subtract directly? No, we have to multiply here by 3, here by 3 to get the same denominator. Then, don't forget to put the parenthesis, 12 over 33 minus 2 over 33 equals 79 over 11, 79 over 11, divided by 12 minus 2. 10 over 33 equals 79 over 11 as it is times what 33 over 10 bravo equals can i simplify yes we have a common divisor between 11 and 33 we can divide them by 
11. 11 divided by 11, 1. 33 divided by 11, 3. Now let's multiply. 79 times 3. 3 times 9, 27. 7 down and 2 up. 3 times 7, 21. Plus 2, 23. 230. 7 over. 1 times 10 equals 10. Okay? Please revise it very well. It's very important. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.